Hey everyone, so one of my goals for this upcoming year is to become a little bit more competent with electronics. And of course I have an Arduino um, and the Ramps 1.4 powering my 3D printer, but it's kind of a black box to me. I know that you know I can put firmware on it and it does what I want it to do, but I don't know exactly how it accomplishes everything. So I figured the first step would be for me to grab an Arduino and just learn a little bit about micro or microcontrollers in general and that kind of stuff. So I went on Amazon and I bought an Arduino starter kit. This is an Arduino Uno and it comes with a breadboard and a bunch of uh, LEDs and little circuit parts like that. It also comes with an LED module. So let's open it up and see what it, all it comes with. So this is what the kit comes with. It comes with jumper wires, some LEDs and resistors, a potentiometer, diode, a photoresistor, and a piezo elements. Uh, we have a temperature sensor, transistor, a small DC motor, and a push button, as well as a servo, a relay, the integrated circuit, and of course the breadboard and the Arduino Uno. So this will be fun and should have a bunch of different projects which I'll, uh, you know, jump into and get my hands wet with this. So here's the Arduino Uno. We see that we have, over here we have 14 digital header pins. Down here we have 6 uh, analog pins. And then we have pow some power pins over here. And it can be powered either from a 9 volt battery or a 12 volt DC jack or through USB over here, which is what I'm going to be doing a lot of my stuff with. So let's see what the uh, first project they recommend would be. So I like the way they have this book laid out. For each of the projects, they have the circuit diagram and a description of what's supposed to be accomplished here. They give the parts and with pictures of the parts. And then they give a diagram of what the finished circuit should look like, as long as with some little blurbs, a little bit of information. And then they also give the circuit diagram laid out so that you can see where every wire goes to. And then it gives you a visual image of the parts and it shows you exactly which pin should be connected and a description and any caution. So you can see here that uh, there's this little caution symbol warning you that the LED does have a plus and a minus and it does matter which leg is connected to which pin. So this is pretty cool. And once you're done, you have something like this. It may just be a simple LED blinking, but hey, everyone has to start somewhere, right? So I'm not going to show you every project in this book. You can go and buy it. It's the uh, Ultimate Starter Kit. I bought it on Amazon for about 60 bucks. So you can buy it and learn yourself. Hey guys, so I've gotten to the end of the Arduino book and I wanted to show you kind of the the last thing I'm doing out of it. So the last lesson was uh, how shift registers work. So what I have here is I have a shift register connected up to these eight LEDs and the shift register is being controlled by just these three pins right here on the LED or on the Arduino. So the Arduino is controlling eight LEDs from just those three pins, which I think is pretty cool. And then I also have the LCD screen hooked up here, attached to a bunch of the other pins on the Arduino. And what I have here is I can shift between different LED patterns. So as I press the button, and when it starts, there we go, we now have a new LED pattern. This one's one at a time. And then I could do the same, and I could shift it, and this is now pattern ping pong. You see the lights are ping ponging from side to side, and there's a few different patterns here, and I think this is this is pretty cool. So it's hard to see on the camera here, but this is LED pattern random, and the next one is marquee. And then we have binary count, where it's going to count up uh, bit by bit. And you can see how the bits are kind of adding together there. But this is pretty cool, and this was a, a nice introduction to how an Arduino works and how to wire up an LCD display and, and all kinds of stuff. 
so I definitely recommend it if you haven't tried an Arduino out before and you you know you have no idea how they kind of work they're you know computers are kind of a black box to me so I thought hey this would be a good thing to learn so I would definitely recommend picking up one of these starter kits they lay it all out so they give you all of the supplies you could ever use it's just it's really good so if you guys have any ideas uh, for projects that I could do to kind of get more experience with this please let me know in the comments down below that would be amazing and thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching Hoffman engineering